Danny Hex here and I have a little tutorial for updating your video card driver for the G4 series on your desktop or laptop or whatever gaming computer you use and I'm mainly doing this because this helped me from not crashing anymore when I was playing Battlefield 3 when it was released. Um, I was playing Battlefield and it would crash within 5 minutes and so I have a previous video where I would run Battlefield as Windows XP and that seemed to work. For a while but then it stopped so it started crashing on me and you know i was pissed but then i found this solution you know it it, it was crucial that i had to update my video my video card driver sorry and you know i kept writing it on forums you know if you update your driver it will it will work and there's this issue with alienware though where you can't download the nvidia drivers directly from nvidia um for some odd reason i don't know if they don't want their customers to destroy their computers to be, to be honest i don't know i just think it's really really stupid because they also charge you if you want one of the recent drivers they charge you uh, around a hundred dollars to get to get a functional driver to work in your laptop so they mod it and i found a way to mod the drivers themselves Oh, without having to pay a hundred dollars and this mostly goes for alienware and it could go for any other laptop that laptop or desktop that doesn't work um, from downloading from the nvidia website and if it doesn't i'm sorry but <clears throat> first let me show you that error message i would get and since i don't want to extract the file that i downloaded from the nvidia website um since i've already done this a couple of times um, it's already stored in my computer so I'm just gonna show you real quick this error message and it gets really annoying because at first I would panic and I got a text message Hold on. all right Nvidia installer cannot continue incompatible graphics hardware um, I have a GTX 460M and this is the recommended driver for it on the NVIDIA website. So let's see what we can do about it. Um, we would have to modify the driver that we get from the NVIDIA by installing, not installing, by just by replacing this one, not even one megabyte size of a file into a, this folder right here called display driver and what this allows I don't know if it's some hardware ID that allows it to read it or to be honest I don't know it, it's a miracle that it allows it to work and this is the modified driver so watch the magic bam no error message you can actually continue and actually install it and play battlefield or whatever game you want to play with one of the recent drivers from NVIDIA um, and so to do all of this first you would have to get of course the driver the recommended driver from 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 NVIDIA and I'm guessing you guys know how to do it um, I got it from here you know you just agree and download and it's on my desktop so we don't need to do that so we got that out of the way and the next thing we do is you can either go to Google and just type in laptop video to go and no no I want laptop reviews and it's the first link and so what you do is we would go to drivers and look for that driver that NVIDIA recommended for you and since I have the 285 62 minus right here and I have a 64-bit operating system so I would click this uh, click here to download driver and INF files and you don't have to go through all this process what I'm doing by modifying it myself with that one file you can just download the driver itself it's already it already has that file installed inside of that folder so you don't have to go through all this hassle but 
I like doing things myself, you know, get to get to learn this and that, whatever. The, the point is, I, I just feel more secure. Um, so you would just download this, this file, you know, make sure you save it somewhere where you where you know where it's located at. So since I already have it, it's already on my desktop right here and it's the same file. And so to locate the file, the files, the folders that you extracted from the NVIDIA driver that you got online, um, you make sure you remember the extraction path, which is the C drive, NVIDIA display driver, 285, you know, all that good stuff. And since I already did that, I can just go directly into it. Uh, display driver 28562 and it leads me to here where it's the setup the display driver the end view optimus update all that good stuff so all you have to do here let me just show you one more time remember this is the nvidia downloaded from their actual website all right not compatible Watch this file do its magic. Just move and replace. Let's try this one more time. What up? It's beautiful. These people are God and I just saved a hundred dollars. From paying alienware to modify this darn driver with just one file and it works perfectly um there's also this issues you know with your warranty and stuff but you know and if you're really scared before you want to install this driver i highly recommend you do a system restore so you would just go to the start button and under the search thing type in create a system no create a restore point so before you install anything I would recommend you creating a restore point so if anything actually gets screwed up you can just go back and make it seem like as if anything like nothing ever happened so you can just create one type in before installing hacked in nvidia driver create and it creates the restore point um, um i don't know why i shouldn't have done that i don't really need to do this because i know it didn't affect but it created a a restore point a, a restore point for me so that's that's a cheer for me all right and in order for this to install properly there's just a few steps um you know you get all this terms and conditions license agreement you know you don't nobody ever reads that you know just agree and continue do not i repeat do not do express it's not gonna work you have to go to custom advanced remember that custom advanced then just click next and perform a clean installation sorry about that um, and it just works I'm not gonna do it because uninstalling things and it's just gonna I'm just not gonna show it um, and I'm currently running on that and I can show you guys. I have a M17X and Alienware only allows us to download the 267 driver, which is kind of outdated. Not kind of, it is outdated. And um, here you go. I have the 28562, GeForce GTX um, 460M. And this works. And this should fix your issue with Battlefield. If not, there's also that issue with a previous video I did 
on making Windows 7 run Battlefield as Windows XP. That worked for me for a while, but then it stopped working because I would play the game for around like four to three hours and then it just stopped working on me. So I wanted to find a new solution and I found it. It was the driver that caused this chaos, this havoc. But now I can play blissfully happy with my friend Slifer. It's a beauty. Um, and if you want to play online, if it works with you guys, if you want to add me, you know, it's Danny Hacks is the same thing as my channel. Um, I'm, I'm usually like there like every day for like an hour, you know, just trying to rank up. I'm, um, in my previous video, I think I was like rank five, or, uh, to be honest, I don't even know, I haven't really checked. Um, but now I'm ranked 39 and you know, it's, it's really fun. This game is really fun, but you know, it has high demands on having your things your hardware updated and your software updated and just many companies don't allow you to do it yourself and since this has to do with computer things many people seem to back off because you know it's it's a computer you don't want to fuck it up so don't be scared um there's always a restore point where you can go back um if you guys have any other questions um feel free to ask me and i will try to get back as fast if not i'll just try my best because you know i have school and all that good stuff college is a hassle <sighs> i just drank some water um oh that's practically it um unless you guys want to hear my life story then i can continue if you guys actually do end up watching this whole video um i will be posting more videos with with a friend of mine with showing dual screens like a dual commentary um so you can see the two points of views of how we work together to get the objectives done you know i don't have a good kdr but you know i like doing the objectives more than killing um and yeah that's that's practically it. i'm gonna be uploading more i'm gonna be uploading that if you guys seen rs 2006 um i'm actually excited about that but they're encountering problems with jx now um i just hope they don't shut it down because if not then this whole series that i wanted to bring to youtube it's just gonna go down the drain and that's it uh you guys have a nice day and um tell me if this worked and if you need more help more detail i feel like i didn't really do that right you know just send me a message um yeah have a good one